So we started playing on the FSN network here. Great, absolutely great tournament content. So Squad, Spencer TV, uh, Jake, Buck, Austin, Clutch. There's a whole bunch of people I haven't even met yet. They're playing on this and I can't wait. What did we get ourselves into? Let's get to it. So, this is our new farm. Mine and Clutch's. Our team name is Devio's Clutch. I just said that because Clutch wasn't around to pick the name, so I figured that's perfect name for this team. So this is our farm. So th there is a lot of rules I still don't understand. I've been super busy at work, so I can't really pay full attention to that, especially nowadays. But this is our farm. So the theory is, is basically you could buy a farm, but the buildings and everything that your farm is on, you're going to lose that land. So yes, we have a huge amount of storage here. We got all the buildings we need. But the problem is, this is valuable land, especially when you're playing a tournament. So the first piece of land has to be under 550000 This costs just about 420000 But we got a pasture land here. We got bins. We could, have, we could be in cattle, which I really don't know if we're going to do. I'm going to have to talk it over to Clutch get a good game plan because uh, I'm kind of lost on my game plan now without him I need to rely on my clutch but I really plan on possibly not doing cattle for the simple reason I just don't think it's smart definitely can't do dairy cattle because dairy cattle you don't get any production until the second year so that would just be a loss for a tournament I just don't think it's smart uh, I'm playing to play the most realistic, but I'm not playing, I'm going to try to at least play somewhat smart. So I'm only going to do crops that you see in Missouri. So you all know this, this land here. So basically this is Medicine Creek land. The, may, the plan I have right now is to plow up all this land. <laughs> You can see somebody standing in the middle of my field. So another uh, YouTuber waiting. He's, I think he's uh, trying to sneak up on my land here. I'm watching you. He's trying to hide in my, what is that, soybeans? My possibly soybeans? I don't know for sure that dead texture but looks like he's trying to hide and sneak up on my land. I'm watching you, buddy. All right, so our land basically ends right here. So right now, I know I'm playing a little bit unrealistic, but I don't even have money to purchase a, uh, any equipment. We are going to get myself and Clutch $1 million to purchase some equipment. Uh, I know Clutch likes playing with some uh, European, so I'm going to try to talk him into as much as possible to hopefully farm with some American equipment. I just think it's so much more realistic, in my own opinion, because I'm American, you know, to farm with American equipment. Maybe that's just me. Hopefully he will agree with me. So I think we're just going to get a, f a few small... Uh, big tractors obviously they're going to be older so I was thinking about a 30 series John Deere so this is the list of tractors so this list will grow all the time by the way this is our piece of land right here so we are on field 61 the most important of this is see there's squad there's buck right there what they don't know is squad and buck we're making plans to purchase this land and I kind of swooped in right underneath them and bought it without them knowing. It's first come first serve. Sorry, 
the early bird gets the worm. Just the way it is. Sorry. No, nothing against squad and buck whatsoever. But this is a tournament. This is cutthroat. So I'm rooting for squad and buck, but I don't know. I just had to purchase this piece of land. Uh, to me, I, I don't really even like playing Farming Simulator unless it just seems realistic. And I don't know if I it would seem realistic if I just bought a piece of land, parked my equipment on the side of the land and all that. It just wouldn't seem realistic and I wouldn't enjoy playing it. That's just me. So that's just how I like to play. So you could take it how it is. But I had to have this piece of land. So I purchased it fairly right underneath them. So it is what it is. I know uh, Grant might hold it against me come payday, but uh, as of right now, it's all in the game. So you guys have probably always seen this. So if you watch my series on Medicine Creek, Medicine Creek is a great map, by the way. Great map. So you know this is Jim's place. So if you kind of know what around, we got a great bin set up here. We got one of the best bin setups you can have. This is impressive bin setup here. Just can't wait to, uh, we got everything. We even got a forage harvester. So we just have a cattle pins right now. So uh, to me, I've never really made a lot of money off of beef cattle and purchasing all the equipment I would need to properly handle cattle I just don't think it's feasible I think we I will just farm this pasture land and use this as land so it will be a little bit annoying but I think I can get in here I'll just have to open one of these gates possibly or do a little land modification we do have nice little uh, watering hole right here in the middle of our pasture but my plan is just to disc this hole up so the most important thing you guys have to realize is me and clutch have not schemed yet so i kind of hope clutch isn't too upset with this purchase I'm hoping he's okay with it uh if you know what Clutch does for a living, he's probably extremely busy right now. So, uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get on at the same time. The best part about this whole plan is I do have... Our farm has two extra positions for hired hands or workers on it. So, if you are interested, I would like you to put down in the comments. Obviously... You know, if you, we win, you're going to share a percentage of the winning. But you also have to realize that both me and Clutch are content creators. So some of it is going to be have to made for, you know, viewers. Viewers just don't want to see the normal. But so this is a good piece of land right here. So I think everything but basically this tree basically the valley that runs through right down the middle here is going to be plowed up so I plan on plowing almost all this up I will probably leave this this will be the dividing factor between the fields and uh, I just like the aesthetic looks I know everything's dead right now we can't even plow to be honest we can't even plow we can't do anything until the ground unthaws. Still 32 degrees. That ground is hard as a rock right now. So in Farming Simulator, you can only plow when it gets 33. So we do have to wait a little bit. As you see, my current, I currently have 78,410. That's only because Actually, I'm supposed to have a little bit more than that. I'm going to have to talk to him. So we can only spend 550000 So I'm missing 50000 I believe. But I'll have to reaffirm that. 
so I know you guys are probably, you know, pulling your hair out or whatever, like, oh, you wasted so much money on your building placement. But like I said, I think it's important just because, you know, it's way more enjoyable for me to farm around a farm or, you know, bring my equipment, store my equipment. All that stuff is one of the most enjoyable things I like doing in Farming Simulator, and that's the most important thing to have. When you're playing Farming Simulator, play it like you enjoy it. Play what you like to play. Don't play how other people like you to play. So that's how I like to play it, but that's just me. Uh, I do think the land around here that we cannot farm, like this land right here, even though it's right by our farm and everything, I am going to uh, plow this under, this grass, I, I should be saying. Not, so I'm going to plow this grass under. Uh, that crop is ruins. We're going to plow that under. That's our only real field that's built into the map. And uh, any grass that we can't or really is just too small to worry about, thinking about we could possibly bale it. Maybe that would be too much money purchasing that type of stuff. Uh, so let's look at the equipment we have options to purchase. So these are all of our equipment. We don't have a lot of equipment to be honest. So we ain't playing with near the mods that I have. That's for sure. So uh, we got, we'll probably end up going with, uh, hmm, this is going to be tough. Really don't want to go with in game, but we're probably going to have to go with one of these 50 series harvesters. Uh, man, something like this, possibly, uh, with a grain extension. I I'm going to have to get this on before. Uh, I know how, uh, maybe clutch. Hopefully, he doesn't talk me into purchasing something like this over here. Now, what is that on the front of it? Is that for transportation? I've never seen something like that. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not, obviously I don't know a lot about European uh, vehicles, but I don't know what is on the front of this uh, harvester. So, uh, obviously, we're just gonna get the smallest. I'm just, uh, that. How much money does that actually add? Hmm. Mm, them tracks ain't bad, but I don't know. I just can't. Really hard for me to get over the. I I like the yellow. Yellow and black is my. Basically, uh, my favorite mod for this. I should say, just because I don't know. I just. I know this color might grow on me one day, but it's not yet. Uh, so we got, so this, I think with that little itty bitty auger and everything, it's just not worth the price. Yeah, that is a really cheap uh, axle flow harvester. Uh, 50 series. Ooh. Thinking this is going to be our uh, our uh, harvester for right now unless they don't add another mod but I'm not even really going to consider purchasing a harvester until later I might be just because we're gonna have to take loans out and all of that I just don't know if, until our equipment is actually uh, ready or our until our crops are ready to be harvester harvested don't think it's smart to purchase a harvester so Let's see, how much does that actually add? So that's a fairly good amount. I'll probably get full wheel drive just because it doesn't really cost that much money. And get a little green star on the top. There we go. Oh, we got to have the side is awesome. Oh, maybe the back is off. Oh, we got the we got the copper pipe. Looks copper. Straight pipe. Hmm. Think I might get straight pipe. I haven't tried that yet. 
we're going to get the smallest size cover. I don't know what that changes. I haven't looked in this mod for a while. Uh, so that looks like uh, the new advanced cover that basically doesn't suck, doesn't have the problem with chaff hitting it. So any of them covers real the new body. I do kind of like that plastic look it's showing. Might, might, might have to do that. Okay. Short pipe, standard pipe. Definitely going to get a long pipe. It's so much easier to harvest with a long pipe. Thinking, you know, you know, I do kind of contemplate if silage would be, if you're going to be needing the most money out of land I think silage is probably the best bet and beans we have a forage harvester a forage container here that might be the option to go with don't know for sure if this works silage might be the way the route I'm thinking I'm gonna have to talk it over with clutch but beans were both on here we can harvest it silage takes a lot of work a lot of partner work that is so you can't really do it that well by yourself but maybe we'll have to consider doing that uh, cotton would be nice I really just don't want to ever do cotton again after that last tournament sugarcane no way no way no form uh, potatoes we can grow so basically these are the current tractors I have to pick from so I mean you gotta think we're dealing with a million dollars so after you purchase a truck and a truck harvester pickup truck uh, something to pull around grain with all that stuff uh, a million goes away quickly so that's why I thinking on a 30 series uh, just for the price range right now otherwise I was thinking on going blue this is this is one of the mods I really like don't know if it'll be that cheap once I fully upgrade it let's see here get the big kahunas 435 horsepower and then so I at first I kind of like this but uh, I don't know I I prefer the tract I prefer the tires just in my personal opinion uh, this would if this was 3d already that would be amazing but it isn't so it's pretty cool looking but thinking just gonna go with the tires if I do end up going blue but I think just because of they don't have nothing cheaper I'm going to end up going with the 30 series I I don't really see a magnum that so this is all right, but uh, it's not American enough for me. That is my options right now. You'll have to let me know what to purchase. So, oh man, IT runner, huh? I really hope that's the only issue is I know Clutch likes, doesn't necessarily like American, a lot of American tractors. And that's, you know, that's great. I, I appreciate that's very valid point from him I mean I'm not knocking that by any means but uh, it would be nice obviously we can't afford a sprayer so it, we're gonna have to get a pull type sprayer so I'm thinking probably something cheap so we'll probably just go with something on the back because spraying is pretty quick uh, spreading we'll just go with the cheaper spreader probably something like this or the trailer version uh, 
manure not worth getting into really to be honest I just don't think that we're gonna have enough money right now unless we uh, splurge so really we need need to have a tractor big enough to pull one of these so that's I mean the 30 series we well we can pull this chisel here so the chisel is eight this would be nice to have but I don't know if it's really worth it because this can go nine mile an hour this can go eight uh, we can buy I mean this is a lot of money for this cheapo no, I mean in real life this is, does not cost that amount of money but I understand why they put it in the tournament because that would be everyone's basically chisel or uh, plow uh, what do we got here this is a three meter so this looks like something you can add to something else wow I don't never seen one of these is that really a John Deere never seen one of these planters before kinda cool looking I guess I don't know if this is really American or not I don't I don't know a lot about this type of planter so definitely kinda cool looking looks like it's the modded in-game Stara to be honest so somebody just changed oh so that's basically really that's more money I guess you get John Deere logos cost money to get the deer on there so this is another option I just don't know if I could go this slow planting around uh, I would think I'm gonna talk to clutch but I think we're gonna go with the horse planters so I think we need to plant with we need to decide either row crops Let's look at the grain prices right now so I'm, I'm kind of considering doing silage just going all into silage I know that let's see what silage is worth right now and I think to be honest silage bales 65 that's tough because I have no idea what silage would be if that's a good price or not well you saw it Buck and Grant are mysterious apparently they can disappear in thin air not for sure how they do that but apparently it's possible on farm sim I thought they were trying to mess with me a little bit here I have no idea what they're trying to do I was just uh, contemplating a uh, game strategy and everything I looked up and there's Buck and Grant trying to be mischief I don't know for sure what they're doing but they're contemplating I believe they're strategizing just because they wanted to snoop my farm figured I'd snoop their farm too so this is going to be our farm really nervous so I am gonna drive some equipment up here so it looks like the good thing is the snow all melt I was just about ready to buy a snow plow I think where it'd be smart to save some money just enough so we can purchase a snow plow because uh, I heard it snows a lot here in Missouri a whole lot so it's probably important for us to have a snow plow plow this road all the way up here because I don't want to get snowed in here in the winter time and that will be bad and I heard the snow can get deep like eight foot deep can you believe that now, I don't know if it snows that much in Missouri but if it does that's gonna be trouble on this farm at least but uh, really looking forward to this I think it'll be a new challenge and the best part is you can all play on your own FSN look at the description below to find more information be a good challenge so you can all play in your own tournaments possibly even help me out one day maybe we'll have to see 
but it looks like it's greening up here in this beautiful Missouri countryside. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.